Hello, how is everyone tonight? This is Sunday night, November the 13th, 6.50 p.m. I heard we had a little sun activity, so let's check it out together and see what we have. This is Enlil, and we're going to watch the model run. We started on the 8th, we'll play it all the way through. Apparently the sun has ejected a CME. And I believe Mercury is supposed to take a hit of it. Possibly Gen or, uh, Venus, excuse me, may get a dose of it too. We may get a little after effect of it, but it's not directed upon us. And as it looks like, according to the model it should not directly affect us now let's go and go backwards let's see the beginning of it once more just watch the poofage and we can remember that Venus and Mercury. Their location would be at this time in this area somewhere. And we'll go and we will see what the projection is. for the next three days. According to them, the three-day forecast is solar activity is expected to be low through the period of the 14th through the 16th. There will be a slight chance for an isolated M-class flare until 1339 and 1344 regions depart the west limb early on the 15th of November. The magnetic field is suspected to be at mostly quiet levels during the period 14 through 16 November. Well, according to them, the one that we're already absorbing and this one here that it has erupted and let out we should not really have a major problem with it we just have to see we have no storm activity at least not at the moment nope. They finally have updated YU-55, it's over, it's 400 meters, they finally adjusted that. I uh, also wanted to say, someone said YU-55 be coming back around the sun, not anytime soon. From what I understand it'll be about 2015. We'll see. We'll just have to see, won't we? Mercury directed CME. Significant coronal mass ejection blasted away from the sun's eastern hemisphere on November the 12th. Analysts at the Goddard Space Weather Lab say the cloud will hit Mercury on the 13th, which is today, at 1800 UT, plus or minus seven errors. You can click your link for a CME movie or forecast track, which we saw a little model. It's a picture of remarkable activity. A picture taken by Stephen Ramson of Atlanta, Georgia. There have been many strong solar flares in days. Nevertheless, some impressive activity is underway on the sun. For one thing, an enormous wall of plasma is towering over the sun's southeastern horizon. Solar forums all over the world are buzzing 
with sun astronomers proclaiming to be the biggest prominence that many of them have ever witnessed. Remarkably, though, this is not the biggest thing. A dark filament of magnetism is snaking more than halfway around the entire sun. From end to end, it stretches more than a million kilometers, about three times the distance between Earth and the moon. And if the filament becomes unstable, as solar filaments are prone to do, it could collapse and hit the stellar surface below, triggering a hydro flare. And nobody can say if the eruption of such a sprawling structure would be Earth-directed or not. Well, that's not a good thought. I can't help but wonder what could possibly come next since we're still over a year away from the forecasted solar maximum. There's never been a better time to own a solar telescope than now. Well, we'll click the SDO image and that's what we see. And it's pointing to that area of description. over here you can go over here at Sechi and we can run this on the 11th and it plays through and you can see something's building up you know it's getting ready to roll over into the 12th and, and blow it out so this is just looped I'll let it run a couple more times And now, when we go over to Soho, this is going from the 9th. into the 11-11 and we made it through 11-11-11 just fine cruising right through headed into 2012 see how this plays out take shape Keep your eyes open and watch all the things of the NWO. See their plans taking shape. And there we go on the 12th. Do a good one out. And we've got some pretty tough things coming because if we're already getting CMEs like this and like he said in the article what about next year you know if that's supposed to really be the maximum well we're going to get a lot more than this if that holds to be true that'll be a strain on everything the power grid the planet itself and more than likely it's probably going to contribute and make things shake a lot more going to be a lot more ground movement and the magnitude's probably going to get a lot higher and a lot higher I mean like a couple of points and where it would be a four and a half probably move it up some five and a half six and a half or something <clears throat> and then we've got alignments to play into that. 
so we've got some things coming up in the future let's see what is our latest earthquake situation according to the USGS right now it's lower fours mainly nothing in the big higher five region four nine Banda C near south coast of Honshu is a four eight in Japan five O Tonga three two Peninsula, Kenai Peninsula, Alaska, 4-5 Tajikistan, 4-7 Fox Islands, Aleutian Islands, Alaska, 5-1 Kermadec Islands, New Zealand, 4-7 Kermadec Island region, 4-8 Southern Iran, 4-6 Eastern New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, 3-3 Hawaii, here I am, 3.0 Aftershock, Oklahoma, Two and a half central Alaska, four point six southeastern Iran, three point four Virgin Islands, which is getting peppered. Uh, uh, two point seven Baja California, Mexico, two point seven Virgin Islands, four point eight Kermadec Islands, three point five Virgin Islands, five point one Southern East Pacific Rise, four point nine Alaska Peninsula, two point six Southern Alaska, three point four. Virgin Islands region 2.6 Southern Alaska 4.6 Maluka Sea and here we come with the pepper to salt for the Virgin Islands 3.1, 2.5, 3.6, 3.2, 3.5, 3.5, 3.4, 2.6, 2.5, 3 3.7, 2.7 all Virgin Islands, all 13th uh, they're getting Lots of pulsation down there. Argentina, 4.8. You go up into the 12th. Virgin Islands, 3.4. Nepal, border region, 4.2, 4.9. Virgin Island region, close to a 5. 2.7, Central California, 3.3, 3.3, 2.5, 2.7, 2.7, 2.5. All in Virgin Island region on the 12th. 3.0 Baja California Mexico to 4.2 Virgin Islands region 2.6 Virgin Islands region 4.6 Indonesia 3.0 Southern Alaska Long Valley area California 2.5 Southern Greece 4.6 Eastern Turkey 4.6 2.7 Northern California Kenai Peninsula Alaska 3.9 2.9 Baja California, Mexico, 5.0 offshore Sagrada, Venezuela, 2.8 Puerto Rico, 2.7 Southern California, 3.3 Southern Texas, 2.8 Baja California, Mexico, 2.8 Baja California, Mexico, 2.7 Mona Passage, Puerto Rico, 3.2 in Utah, 3.0 Virgin Islands region, 2.7 Baja California, Mexico, And then so on, you can see Southwest Indian Ridge, Taiwan region, 4.8, the 5.0 in the Indian Ridge. And there we are with another 2.9 aftershock. The magnitude here has dropped down in the aftershocks. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to drive down to that area and I'm going to look around at where those oil sites are located and I'm going to see who owns them all and I'm going to talk to some people and I'm going to get the general pulse feeling of what is the thoughts of the people on the ground that you don't hear about on the news and when I find out what I find out well you know me by now I'll tell you the truth of what it is So, oop. these are some pictures that I took last week of the moon and Jupiter when it was in conjunction, uh, which brings to mind another thing I want to say off the top of my head, a couple things. Uh, Jupiter is not planet X. Not. 
Uh, so that's just uh, that's just the way it is. And Zeus, he was not a good guy. He was not good. Well, there's another picture. I just have it a little bit more blown up. It was that one? I think I shot. I think I shot them a couple of days apart, like back to back days. Well, that was kind of strange, though. I took took them on the same day, but when I shot this one first, I remember shooting this one first, and then I looked at it, and I didn't know why it came out like that. It just must be the way the light. Uh, reflected somehow because I didn't see any clouds anywhere and then it wasn't you know 10 seconds later I was shooting another picture and it come out clean so it somehow gave itself some kind of ominous spooky look so we'll have to watch the CME I don't think we'll have any problem it's not directed upon us. We shouldn't catch very much uh, from it. We're already absorbing what we got last time. And as far as the earthquake activity is, well, we're just going to have to see. And we made it through 11 11 11. No problem, oh. And I think we'll cruise like I'm looking at right now into 2012. All these uh, dates, we blew right through them. And even though Comet Elenin didn't turn out to be what it could have turned out into, or YU-55, we still realize, uh, because we're not dumb, that they were events that did have some kind of meaning. And they were uh, things that we were meant to see. I mean, think about how long it'll be before something as big as YU-55, according to even what they tell you, will be before something comes that close again. And hy hyperbolic comments, and they're not that frequent. Comet Elenin was a special one. So they were placed here for some reason for us to pay attention to, even though it didn't cause a catastrophe. It was somehow something we were supposed to be watching and notice. And so that we have, we're now on the road map into 2012. And there'll be highway markers along the way, signs and and wonders and that's what they're like they're like highway markers that tell you how many more miles before you get to where you're going and we're gonna have to figure out the highway markers as we go so that we know everything is fitting together or not even the bad guys have their own timeline, but their own timeline still has to fit in God's timeline. You understand? Timeline within a timeline within a timeline. All these different ones run together, but they all fit into the overall one, which is His. So I'm going to go outside and do a little star watching and see what I can see. come back in watch a little bit of that football game between the Jets and the Patriots it should be probably an entertaining game Brady against Sanchez on that note I'm going to let everyone go I'm working on a couple things for you all some subjects that I haven't gotten back to as timely as I wished that I had It'll just take me a little while longer to put them all together. But it's something that I certainly enjoy talking about. 
I know quite a bit about, and I believe it's important that everyone knows and understands. Uh, so I'll keep it uh, keep it under wraps until I'm ready to bring it all out. God bless you all. I hope you have a good Monday, the beginning of the work week. It's not my favorite day, but it has to be done to get to the end of the work week, doesn't it? So I appreciate all your messages and your videos and your support. We'll have to watch next week and see what is happening mil militarily also as we have uh, permissions being sought for maybe some actions against Iran. We have some equipment movement. Let's keep our eyes open. Y'all be good. You'll hear from me soon. Good night.